Hi guys, welcome to Flex5 101 Tips and Tricks. My name is Esteban and today I want to show you how to draw the roller tracks. So we have a basic wireframe here. What I want to do is select the tape measure tool to create guidelines to know where to put the roller track line. From the edge, I'm going to work my way in and I want to go place my wire, excuse me, my guideline at 3.5, three and a half inches. And I'm going to do that in the front line here. It's a three inch drop or a three inch slope from the back to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 3.5 as well for the second guy line I'm creating. And I'll do a third one in the back here, 3.5, three and a half. There we go. So now we know where to draw our roller track line. Now let's go ahead and look for the Preferences dialog icon in the uh, creator extension. Look for the pipe coating and color and scroll down to select roller track. So there we go, X out of here and we'll create that using the line tool. So select the pencil and from the back, I'm looking for that intersection line and I'm gonna look for that one same in the front. There we go, we created a purple line here that now represents the roller track. I'm going to select this and copy it and move it over to the last guideline I created. I'll click on the mouse once and this is a convenient way to divide into equal spaces. We're going to click the mouse once and now at the bottom left screen uh, we're going to see that we can go ahead and type in the division sign and we'll divide this into three equal spaces. So I'll go ahead and type three and press enter once again. And now we see that we've divided that space into three equal spaces. Get rid of the guidelines. And there we go. So last thing we want to do is generate our wireframe. And in a moment, we're going to see the tube and joint structure. There we go. So that's how simple it is. If you want to add an accessory, an alternative for the roller tracks is including the side guideline. So you can go ahead and choose that if you need for your structure. And there you go. So as simple as that. So let's go ahead and install those roller tracks. Have a great day.